So hi everyone, I got these new batteries that I've ordered. What is special about these lithium batteries is that the discharge current of this is very high. It's a continuous uh, 30 uh, amps, which means one of the most uh, current available discharge batteries. For example, if you want to use the cells uh, for Dyson vacuum cleaner, the wireless vacuum cleaner, these are the cells. Uh, again, it is Sony VTC6 and I'm curious to know if uh, these cells, of course, are uh, original or not. So let's do the test that we can test. So first it comes each cell in its own uh, box. This is nice and uh, it of course can prevent shorts. And uh, these lithium cells by the way are lithium magnes magnes oxide. This is uh, the, the let's say the number of, of this, I think it's limn 4 something like this. Okay, so each cell has a marking. Uh, I don't see the brand Sony. No, I don't see the brand Sony, by the way. It's US18650 uh, with VTC6. This is written VTC6. Okay, when I open the datasheet, I want to check the weight. The weight by the spec should be 1.644 ohms. So I have an accurate weight tester. So let's see what is the weight of each cell. Maybe like this. Okay, so this is even a little higher than 1.644, so this is accept acceptable. Let's check the second. Okay, pretty much the same. So by the weight, it can be that these are ori original Sony cells. Now next thing that I want to do is of course to check the capacity. And later to check uh, the current with the maximum load I can apply. I even don't know what is the maximum that I can apply, but I will soon check. So let's see the voltage that they came with. So 3.66 volts. Let's see the second. 3.72 volts. Okay. This is something that is accept acceptable because uh, you can't know exactly what is uh, the charge in each cell. So ne next thing will be to charge it completely to 4.2 volts of course and this, then discharge completely. I will use an accurate charger, the ISDT, which is a good charger, pretty accurate. So let's maybe use them, uh, the C4 charger. First I will charge and then I will discharge. And this will be for the first capacity. And then I will put a maximum load charge then that I can to see if it can handle at least 20 amps continuously as it should. So let's charge a second. I will apply maybe higher current than 1.5 amps. This should not be a problem for such a cells. Maybe two and a half amps. Charging current. Also for the second cell. Two point five. And then I will do a complete discharge 
in this uh, same charger, small charger C4. And then later I will charge them again and do the maximum load to see if it is available to deliver such a high current continuously. Okay, so starting this uh, to Okay, so one battery uh, is fully charged, the other in a few seconds. So it is uh, charged with 1348 milliamps, the other one is 1800 and something, will be uh, fully charged in a few uh, minutes. Uh, Meanwhile, I want to check the internal impedance. I have uh, searched for data and I've seen that on VTC6 the internal impedance should be between 8 and 18 milliohms. So I'm curious uh, to get the real number. So uh, let's check it maybe. Okay, so we will look now at the internal impedance of the cell that uh, has already been charged. So taking it off, let's connect the leads and see the numbers that we get. Okay, so this is uh, 10 milliohms, 
and uh, we already seen that uh, this uh, instrument itself has about one milliohm internal so this is between the limits that I've seen between 8 milliohms and 18 so it's pretty promising by the way I've seen that there are few type of VTC6 and not all of them are defined to 30 milliamps continuously and you have to make sure that when you are discharging with very high current you will not exceed 80 uh, degrees Celsius so uh, maybe we will discharge with uh, 15 uh, amps and uh, try I will see if I can measure at the same time the uh, temperature of the case of the cell in order not to ruin the cell so uh, first we will do a fully discharge to these two cells to see if they have a really 30,000 milliamp hour as they should have okay so the second cell was fully charged uh, 1850 milliamps let's take both cells out check with the fluke the actual voltage and then do a full ditch discharge so 419 and 4.2 so now we will do a fully discharge and then see what is the rated capacity when discharging I think I can do it with a maximum 1.5 amp we will check it now yes 1.5 amps we'll do this for both batteries so let's do a discharge also for this one waiting to complete and see the real capacity of these cells